do you know that 16 people will have committed suicide in the world whilst we watch this presentation most of these deaths are actually preventable and I'm going to explain how my name is Zulf Chowdhury I'm the CEO of Clear Mind Games we provide mental health solutions but I didn't start off in mental health at all my background is in high-tech European projects I've delivered many uh, successfully and as you can see they all involved uh, lots of tech partners from the European Union um, we used IOT Internet of Things data science mobile solutions and other innovative technologies to make things happen and that's what I was used to but outside my office I would sometimes see a scene like this where someone had actually committed suicide um, and that made me think why did they do that what was the reason and I was committed then to doing something about it in both an ethical way and without the use of any hard drugs or treatments our failure to address the mental health issue imposes a huge financial social and private burden as you can see there's 131 deaths in the UK every week and those deaths is someone's loved one someone's child someone that actually should not have died worldwide data from the World Health Organization paints a horrifying picture 300 million sufferers of depression worldwide 800,000 commit suicide that's one every 40 seconds think of that one every 40 seconds healthcare systems are prioritized towards accident and emergency rather than the long-term care but the lack of support for people in mental health crisis increases stress increases anxiety depression and other forms of mental health issues for sufferers for example in prisons um, a prisoner could wait between 14 to 140 days to get treatment for any mental issues now think about that if they're waiting that long is it any wonder that they're going to drift towards hard drugs is it any wonder that hard drugs are rife in UK prisons as well as prisons all over the world mental issues with lockdown and isolation have actually made things worse for lots of people for example there's job worries there's worries about income at the bottom some, some something that people forget is children children are neglected in this scenario it need not be like this if we can learn one thing from COVID-19 it is that mental resilience mental abilities has to be a top priority because without that a lot of people are going to fail and fall down and given our limited resources what is the best way to do that I believe that the mental health revolution can be helped by digital science it can be helped by data analysis it can be helped by gaming it can be promoted and um, touch upon by lots of ways that we could not use before and those ways means that we can actually delve into people's minds we can see what stresses they're going through what issues they're facing and from that we can build a picture and inform clinicians quickly to do something about it much more focused than what we have which is um, 
a sort of we wait for the customer to either die or phone us to say hey i've got a problem if i can leave you with one message it's time to rethink mental health it's time to get mental health into the digital era and what we'll be doing is three things one is making mental health scientific saving young lives and thirdly we're actually helping people to cope better with everyday stresses of modern living thank you for listening i hope you found this useful if you did please feel free to contact me with any suggestions ideas or even support